I went to Scream Break, and it was terrible. So, last weekend, I went to the Scream Break at Six Flags Great Adventure with my girlfriend, Ecoops Videos, Ecoops Videos' girlfriend, and Gage Curran. And wow, that was an experience we will never forget. Like, I want to say it was cool, but it just wasn't. Like, it wasn't just a mediocre, you know, had some flaws. No, it was bad. Now, let's start off with the haunts. They had two haunts open, Fears and The Manor. And I'm not gonna lie, they really weren't that good. Like, the detail was very lackluster, and a lot of the decor inside is stuff you can literally find in the dollar store. Like, for example, you know those cheesy little pictures where if you look at it at different angles, it looks like it moves or whatever? I've seen those in the dollar store before. And it was just a lot of stuff like that, where it looks really cheap. They did have a couple animatronics. They had this one coat rack monster which shot air out, which I thought was pretty cool. They had a poison props clown, which wasn't working at all. I mean, that's not even a hard fix, that's literally just turning up the air on an air compressor. And it's not like this was their first night open, so I feel like that's something they could have easily fixed. But why wasn't it? I don't know. Out of the two haunts, Fears was probably my favorite. It was a bit more detailed, and I like the whole idea of it where each room is a, basically a different fear. The manor was kinda boring. You're basically just walking through this house. The rooms felt very bare, there wasn't much inside of them. It just really wasn't scary. And I mean like, I've seen home haunts that do this so much better. It was a lot of simple stuff that could have easily been fixed and just made a little bit better. And I can't believe during Fright Fest, they charge people for these haunted houses. See, I've never personally attended Fright Fest. I always go to the Halloween haunt at Dorney Park, because all you have to do is pay for a park admission, and then you get into all the haunted houses. With Fright Fest, you have to pay for park admission, plus each haunted house. And I mean, if all those haunted houses are like that, I'm glad I never went. Dorney Park's haunts are super detailed. They are amazing. They get every little detail in their haunts. They're so good. And then at Scream Break, they also had one scare zone as well, which was literally just fog and lighting. There was no decor or anything anywhere. Now, the actors really also weren't the best. Now, I do somewhat understand it is April. They probably did have a hard time finding haunt actors to work. They had a couple decent ones, but overall they just weren't that good. Here, take a look at this clip. Now who is this gonna scare? She is literally just standing there in a corner, shaking a little can. She's not charging after them, she's not jumping out. She's just standing there staring at them, shaking a little can. And this guy with the chainsaw, like, he's just walking around once again, not putting any effort into it, just walking around revving the chainsaw. Yeah, there are some people that that could scare, but... Overall, that's not scary. Now inside the haunts, pretty much all the actors just kind of stare at you and don't do anything. There were a couple that tried to jump out and stuff like that, but most of them just stare. They don't say anything and they just stare. I don't know, there was just nothing scary about it. Everything about the haunts was just really cheesy and not scary at all. And also all of like the food stands and stuff like that, they were a mess. Pretty much at each stand we went up to, their registers were freezing up. They kept having issues. They were out of tons of food. Like all I wanted was a turkey leg. That's all I wanted. You know, we're waiting there online for a while. We finally get up and they're out of turkey legs. Can't put up a sign or anything. So then we go up to another place and we're waiting and we're waiting cause their POS system is freezing and there's nothing they could do about it. And then we finally got our overpriced $20 meal. But this is just basic daily operation stuff that they couldn't even handle right. I don't know, personally I've never been a big fan of Six Flags in general. I've always been a big fan of like the Cedar Fair parks, like Dorney Park and such like that. I don't know, just overall I was kind of disappointed. I really do hope other Six Flags parks did it a little bit better, but personally Great Adventure wasn't the best. I do hope they bring it back and they try to make it better because I love the idea. It's such a good idea and I love seeing places recognizing that people want haunted houses throughout the year, not just Halloween. And I love that. It's such a cool idea. And just the play on words. I love it. Scream break instead of spring break. It's a wonderful, great idea. And then they had a DJ there who kinda, I felt, ruined the vibe. He was just like blasting party music, stuff like that. It should have at least been like more Halloween 
related type music playing in the park. And that just kind of ruined the vibe. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you guys want to screen break, I want to hear your guys' opinions on it down below. But I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Peace, peace out. Oh, he's nice. Oh. <laughs>